Hi there, welcome to One Site Solutions YouTube channel, One Site TV. My name's Dan Harris, and today I'll be taking you through how to use our very own OSS FTP driver. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's used to being able to move files between one computer and another, normally between what we call a client and a server. We have our own server, which I'll be showing to you a little bit later, but firstly, let me show you what you need to do to actually get this installed. You have to head down to the One Site Solutions uh, website. There you'll be able to go to our support page, down to our software downloads, where you can get all new versions and current versions of Niagara, as well as other programs and other modules that you'll probably need, like host ID patches, DG Logic, as well as our OSS graphs, our binning package, OSS Easy API, and of course, what we'll be using today is the OS FTP client. So I've just downloaded it. I'm gonna open it up now open up the zip folder and quite simply just copy, go to my version of Niagara that I'll be using today and pasting it in there. Now, if you currently already have Niagara open, you will need to shut this down. You will also probably need to restart the station that you're working on. So let me now just close this down. I've got a console already open, so I'm actually gonna run this already. I have now started Workbench and open up the station I've got running on my laptop. So we just go into my services. So this is where we're gonna be putting the OS FTP service. And to do that, I need to first open it in my palette, filter with OSS, open, and expand the folder here. Now as you see, we've got two sections here. We've got the OSS FTP service. This will be put in our service section. And then we've got the transfers. We'll be using both of these. Most important thing you need to know is that these both reside in the OS FTP service. So now let me just drag this and place this in my services. And now to make things quick and easy, I'm just gonna go into a wire sheet. The reason I'll be using a wire sheet, I'll be showing you a little bit later, we'll be using a schedule to help send this out. And then we can do choose when we want to, either hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, etc. So let me just grab a directory transfer and also a file transfer. We will be sending these up to our FTP server we've actually got ourselves. So let me just show you, we're using FileZilla and then we're actually already logged into it and if I spent it on the right hand side, it will show us what files we're actually sending them up to. So I'm just gonna copy the path from the host. I'm gonna go into my directory transfer and do my connection properties, paste that in there put my username and my password in, save. I'll be doing the same with my file transfer as well. Is that the same thing? Oh, very identical. So now I'm in the file transfer, I'll be showing you first how to do a singular file. And let me show you how we're gonna bring that on and implement that. I'm gonna go into my CSV folder. I actually used our Serious transfer form, you saw a video from previously you can look at. I was able to make three different CSVs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first send one of these and then I'm gonna actually send a group of them together. So first I'm just gonna duplicate that one because I wanna delete this one out. Copy. File to transfer. I'm actually copied the ord and pasting that directly in there. It's actually using the name of the file, it's gonna paste that straight on there. So first I'm gonna do a manual transfer. A little bit later on I'll be showing you how to do that with a schedule. So I go back over to our FileZilla. As you can see, we've only got one file existing on our right hand side here. Come back over to the file transfer. As a manual effort, I can simply action, file transfer. It says that we've had a file sent. Come back over to our FileZilla. And there is, meter four CSV. So I'm now gonna delete that file out because I want to send all three of these using the actual folder transfer. So again, I'm gonna copy the CSV file, copy, paste that in there, save. And again, I'm gonna do this as a manual exercise. File transfer again. It says it's been sent. Back over to our directory here, refresh. And now we've actually got all the CSV files within that directory. So that's quite simple. Last thing I would like to show you just how simple it is to actually set this up as an automatic exercise. So I'm going to wire sheet, just slightly bring these apart. Pin slots, transfer files, 
And again, action, pin slots, transverse files. Just drag these over here. And now I'm gonna open up my schedule folder. I'm gonna use a trigger schedule. I see, add any weekday, any month, any year. So I'm using this to actually send an FTP file at the beginning of every month for the previous month. So I'm gonna hit add. So what it's gonna do at 12 o'clock, beginning of the day, every day at the end of the month, whatever day it is, whatever year, that will file that file for me. I'm gonna save that. And now just simply set up accordingly. So I've now got a trigger schedule at the beginning of every day, at the first of every month, it'll be sending my CSV files up to my CSV, to my FTP service. Hopefully you got something out like that. It's very simple and easy to use. As I say, it's a purchasable feature through one site solutions. A lot of our clients have used it with a lot of success. And um, hopefully you've liked this video. Please leave a like and a comment. Or if you've got any other questions, drop them in. If you've got any ideas of any other videos you'd like to see also, please feel free to either drop us a line or at daniel at onesite.solutions or leave a comment below. Thanks very much. Bye.